What's up guys, my name is Cody and I want to welcome you to my YouTube channel. We're in the middle of a series talking about the air raid offense and how to execute some of the principles in Madden 20. And so I want to jump into today's video real quick and I want to talk to you a little bit about this new play that I wanted to add. So we've talked so far about two primary plays that are very effective against the defense. That is the mesh corner from Spread by Flex out of the Arizona Cardinals playbook. So our audibles here are Y cross, shallow cross, drive, and then Y stick. The play we come out in every single time is mesh, and then we've also covered how to run the play drive. If you haven't checked those, if you haven't seen those videos, you can check them out in the in the uh, at the channel. Okay. I want to talk to you really quickly about this spread Y slot. So it looks very similar to the spread Y flex. The only difference is the wide receivers on the right have one slight movement. Oftentimes people won't notice that movement. So the play I want to talk to you about today is the play Curl Wheel and the play Z Shallow. Uh, our two other plays in our arsenal. We also run the four verticals and the PA read. Now the reason I want to talk to you today about those two plays, uh, and specifically the play Curl Wheel, is because in Madden 20 this year there's two very powerful routes. The corner route and the post route. Here you see we've built an entire offense around a motion snap corner route that works pretty well against everything. If they're off coverage, you don't even have to motion him. You see here off coverage and I can just throw it and come back, cut the ball off as you can see. Well, when you run the play, curl wheel, you get the best post route, in my opinion, in the entire game. This post route is very effective, very effective. It's a user catch. It's a route that is very similar to the route out of the Pat's sail play. Also out of the deep attack out of the bunch. Also the mesh post out of the bunch. This is one of the better routes in the game. And they're used to it being a corner route. And so what that means is, that means that the defense, especially if you're facing cover twos, the user is not going to see this coming. He's going to expect a corner route. And he's going to be using his middle of the field coverage to try to stop the mesh routes. So what I like to do with this play very simply is I like to take the right or the the outside receiver on the left, put him on a drag. I like to take Ty Travis Kelsey, put him on a drag. And then I like to take the running back, and you can do a lot of different things with him, but I will put him on a wheel route, typically. Okay? My first read on this play is Tyreek Hill. My second read is the mesh. And then my third read is a peek at both wheel routes. Okay? So the snap of the ball, you'll see this route right here is basically going to beat everything. <laughs> I literally have never ran this play and that route not been wide open. I don't run this play enough, and I would encourage you to run this a little bit more than I do. But you'll see, snap the ball, and as soon as he turns to the middle, he's going to be open. I can run this play about 50 times, and I would bet that 48 of them, he's going to be wide open. Okay, he's going to be open pretty much every time. Now, if you motion him to the inside, like we do out of the other mesh plays, you'll see it brings him into this little little cool spot right here. Now that spot is actually a really good route, a really good positioning if they're running cover two or a lot of press coverage. Because basically Travis Kelsey is going to prevent Tyreek Hill from getting bumped. It also kind of goes in line with what we do. We do a lot of motion around with that guy. So he's coming in here and you'll see right there. And you see he still is very effective against cover threes. Now you can do that if you want. I typically don't motion him unless I absolutely have to, but even when he gets bumped, I've not seen a big drop off with this. So here you'll see he'll get he'll get pressed, but he gets that inside release right there. And you see there's that middle third from the um, or that mid read zone from the cover two, and you see he's very he's able to just torch it. I mean, there's just nothing they can do. Here you'll see it's just all day. Now, I won't bore you with running this all game, all video, but that route will be open majority of the time. I wanted to try to show you press man. Here's press man, trail coverage. You see, just roasts it. And Tyreek Hill will do that. Um, 
specialist might give him a little trouble, but for the most part, I've, I've seen this thing just eat. I've just never had issues with this route. <laughs> this route literally just destroys man-to-man -man coverage. It destroys pretty much everything in the, in the game. The only thing that they can hope to do is user it. it, it it's a route in the game that has to be usered. And so what's going to happen is if the more you run this, the more they're going to kind of drop back in that middle user. Well, if they're man-to-man, -man, here you'll see man-to-man -man coverage, that wheel route is going to typically roast it. McCole Hardman with his speed um, is going to be very effective for do, for beating that as well as Dean, uh, Damian Williams. But even if neither one of those things happen, you still have really good crossers. Uh, that, that little double drag, and these won't settle up in noose, unfortunately. But that's okay because we normally get that anyway from the regular mesh. And so this is just a nice little play. And you'll see here, I mean, he just very consistently, one of those drags will come open against man-to-man -man or zone. It just is, it's just a little bit variant as far as which one. So you just want to read it. Uh, I've tried to leave this route from Travis Kelsey, but I found a lot of issues um, with that route running into the post route. You'll see they go right in behind each other, and that's just not very effective. I was If Travis Kelsey's route was just a little bit shallower, this would be probably one of the best plays in the game, if not the best play, the best play in the game, because then you could run basically a mesh concept out of it. But you see how they create a nice natural pick for one another in man-to-man -man coverage. One of the crossing routes will get open. Okay, one of the crossing routes will get open to man if, for whatever reason, they take away Tyreek Hill. The other two reads on this are your um, your wheel routes, and those take a little bit of time to develop. But if you're facing man-to-man -man blitzes, cover zero, if you're facing any of those types of plays, you'll see this is... Um, and here it was just a standard drop back coverage so I should have hit the underneath but basically against the blitz against man to man that's where you want to hit the wheel routes out of this play right there and as you can see if they just blitz you can just hit him right in the flat but this is a really effective play the primary route on this play and if you can practice this route right here right when he cuts in and sometimes you want to lay it a little bit but right when he cuts in it's a hard it's a horizontal pass lead to the opposite side so in this scenario it's coming right to left so i'm going to give him a nine o'clock pass lead on my joystick i'm going to hold my joystick to nine o'clock and then i'm going to click on to my receiver once i once I throw it, and I'm going to hold A to get a possession catch. That possession catch is going to get a diving animation. There you see it right there. That diving animation is very difficult to stop in this Gears game. Very difficult to stop. So, again, if they're not using that route, this thing can pretty much be thrown against every coverage in the game. Because he's going to get that nice diving animation right there. Give him a little bit of separation, and you'll be off to the races. What makes this play such a good compliment is if you're running at the speed at which I talk about running the air raid offense being a no huddle quick snap offense what happens is the defense really has a hard time understanding that you've just switched formations because you go no huddle you audible really quickly and then you go and they just don't notice it and so right if you get that timing down that read is money so anyway that's the curl wheel play and again your first read is the post route your second read is the mesh and then your third read is one of these wheel routes and i guarantee you if they don't have a safety over the top one of those wheel, wheel routes is going to get open for a touchdown this play is a big hitter play this is a play that i go to uh, in certain situations but against cover three blitzes cover three matches cover four drops this is a really good play because that route that Tyreek Hill is on will typically pull the deep third and that running back can slip right in behind it if it's in the right coverage. So just want to encourage you guys, uh, for some reason I got a really bad animation there, 
just want to encourage you guys to give this play a run. You want to snap it in quick huddle, and tomorrow I'm going to post a video of how to run this play in an actual game, how to leverage it with mesh and drive, and I hope you're starting to see how all of these plays work together to formulate one of the best offensive schemes in the entire game. Thank you so much for watching today's video. I'd encourage you to subscribe so that you can get access